More students across our area started heading back to the classroom today. This is video from Bucks County. Kelly Rule spent the day with students in Upper Darby, but let's start first with Shayna Ferreira in Doylestown, where the first day of school for Central Bucks students is coming with a whole lot of controversy. Shayna. Jason, that's right. A lot of controversy here in Central Bucks County over wearing masks. Some parents say they're glad their kids don't have to wear a mask or have the option of wearing a mask. And other parents we spoke with say they wish that there was a mandate in place. It's a little bit of a dicey situation, but uh, you know, we're just trying to make the best of it. This from Sean Chrisman, a father of a kindergartner at Pine Run Elementary School in Doylestown. He says the first day of school came with some nerves and emotions as his son starts a new school year maskless amid a raging pandemic. Yeah, we're kind of trying to go with the flow. Uh, you know, we are still kind of trying to be as cautious as possible. Others we spoke with say they're glad the masks are optional. I'm happy he's not wearing a mask. I'm happy my other children are not wearing a mask. I also understand people that are immunocompromised. So so I would like to have a little bit of give and take. Obviously, if something happens and um, the school starts with any kind of illness or outbreak, we're happy to ask them to mask too. We asked some parents from Pine Run how they would feel if the Central Bucks School Board vote to mandate masks for students in school. I'd rather them not, but I understand if uh, if they do. It's not the worst thing in the world, you know. As long as they stay healthy and they learn, that's kind of all we care about. Some kids also on board with the mandate being optional, saying it makes learning easier. Well, my mask was really thick, so it was like harder to breathe, and I feel like I was talking quieter because you couldn't really hear each other. Principal Stacy Peterman says she'll ultimately enforce the guidance she receives from the school board, but whether or not a mask mandate is instituted, she says she and her staff are taking every necessary precaution, including social distancing students, frequent hand washing and sanitization. We care about our kids. That's why we're here and we're going to do everything we can to make sure our kids are safe, happy and healthy. And if that's mask wearing or not mask wearing, you know, we're going to do the best that we can and we're going to do um, anything we need to do to, to keep kids in school. Now, the Central Bucks County School Board is set to take up this decision to mask or not to mask at their next meeting, which is set for Tuesday. Meanwhile, in the background, there's a looming lawsuit from parents of students with special needs, which is alleging that the district's decision to not begin a new school year with masks and other COVID mitigation measures is a violation of their rights under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Now, there is a fundraiser that's backing this lawsuit. It was started by parents, and Jason has already raised more than $35,000. All right, Shana, thank you very much.